it was the ending that is going to allow you to have this new beginning. Because don't forget, the world is the final card of the Major Arcana. It goes from 0 to 21, or 1 to 0, if you count it that way. But the 4 is their transitional period, when we're getting ready to go again. And when the tower comes up, it's freeing us from the devil. That's why it, it's explosive. It shoots us out of this situation. It doesn't always feel comfortable. I understand that. But it's the ending that was needed. So we'll get into that in just a moment. Let's have a look at these two first. Ten of Cups. Libra. Did you lose sight of what would make you happy? Do you have a new dream coming in? Now, at a very literal level, if we're just going to take it as underlying energy, this is to do with groups of people, family, friends, connections, your idea of what you're happily ever after looks like. Three of Cups is community, it's support, it's our network of support, right? So those kinds of things. But both of these cards talk about people, groups of people, platonic energy. But we all have an idea of what our Ten of Cups feels like. That's the point of the Ten of Cups, not what it looks like. You know, we, a lot of people, the mistake that we make when we're trying to manifest is we kind of shoehorn it in to, it has to look like this person and it has to, the job has to be that one at this company, you know, and we can get that emotion from a number of different places. But all of this is surrounding your groups, how you fit in with people. What does your happily ever after feel like? Not look like, feel like. Have you been compromising? You know, sometimes when the Three of Cups comes up, we, yeah, it's celebration, it's working together. Or not working, that's more Three of Pentacles, but doing it for the collective. Because the Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, it is that. It's how we work together. It's happiness together. It's always about the collective. But you've got her coming up there. She's very solo energy. She's all about her own truth. Did you lose track of your own truth by trying to make this happily ever after happen with a group or with a partner, with the family? with friends, with, you know, whatever it is. I kind of get the sense that you went off track a little bit. You may not have realised it. But let's go over here. So we have that coming up as the underlying. The past we have the Princess of Swords. That's the Page of Swords. Now, nine times out of ten when this card comes up, it indicates a misunderstanding. I don't think, it's not to do with people being stupid and such. Air signs have this tendency that, oh, you didn't understand it, you must be stupid. It's not that. The Page of Swords does not have the experience of the Kings and Queens of Swords. Not even the Knight of Swords, who's pretty direct anyway. The Pages or the Princesses in this deck, they have they have knowledge. They, they have the vibration of that suit. So, you know, this is Swords, thoughts, beliefs, ideas, and how we communicate them. But they're just the very beginning of that energy. They haven't got the full experience. They don't have all the information. It's about an exploration of that energy. And so there might have been some information that's been received. And it's either bad news. You've taken it as bad news. Somebody else has taken it as bad news. But there's more information to be had here. More information to be had. And that's why I think she's coming in to deal with this mess. It does feel messy. There aren't really any cards that indicate the mess, not even the tower. The tower is very clean. It's like a surgical uh, strategic strike, right? It just pff, destroys it. Yeah, we have the rubble of the tower. But the tower is number 16 in the major arcana. And this is massive. Like, you know, there's no other way to put this. I kind of feel like whatever's happening with you guys, Libra, whoever this message is for, and I've said it, I've seen it myself. In, and they're all different. That's the kind of key thing. One of the Libras that I know is dealing with it in relationships. Another one is dealing with it with financial stuff. Another one with spirituality. So it's different for everyone. And I guess that makes sense. If a Libra is going to be, even though it's your sun or moon or rising, whatever, it's going to come and it fall in a different house. So have a look at that. I think that's coming through. But the tower is number 16 in the Major Arcana. And the card before it is the devil, number 15. And that's what I kind of feel. It's almost like, you know, this can be an attachment to the end result. Now, whatever this is that you're going through, another positive energy here is there is support for you. There is support for you here. There are people that have your back. There are people that will support you. But I, with her coming up, that's not what's bothering you. It's more about getting to the truth. And I don't feel like you have all the truth yet. But when we want the truth externally, it's about coming to a place of our own truth. So where have we gone off track? 
that's the kind of key thing. Where have you gone off track? Because the devil indicates something that had power of you, temptation, obsession even. That's, you know, this, the tower frees us from all of that. It's like you can go forward, you can go forward to your happily ever after, but not if you're stuck with that devil energy. And we don't notice it. I talked about it this morning. I'm recording this on Monday, 22nd. And I think I posted it for, um, I don't remember which one of the elements it was for. But, you know, no, I posted it for, um, I, I did a manifestation card that I've been pulling. And I posted it for that. The devil is always us. We allow it to hold us back. We allow it to have power over us. And we don't even notice it devil always shows up with a smile on his face and so when we don't notice it this is a helping hand from the universe i know it doesn't feel like it, it feels like a kick up the ass but with that coming up you have the world and so it's ending that cycle it's ending that cycle very strange i just had this conversation with the libra last night where i was saying that you know just because it's an ending it doesn't mean it's the end of that relationship or the end of that job or the end of that Whatever the situation is, you know, a family thing, an argument that's happened, it doesn't matter. What it means is that you can have a new beginning here. In that old um, incarnation of what that relationship, job, situation, whatever it was, you've taken, you've learned everything that you had to learn from that. But to get this, and this is the intention that we set, it's Taurus season, manifestation season, I always see it as that. To move forward, to get that feeling that you're looking for. Whenever we want to manifest something, we want the emotion that's attached to that. To get that, new lessons must be learned. To, new experiences must be had. So that means if you're in a, an existing relationship, so let's use some examples. The way you speak to each other with the swords coming up, the, you know, the dialogue, the communication, it has to be different. Maybe you need to sit down and have a look at what is the happily ever after? Are we on the same page? Are we headed towards the same goal? So all of this stuff comes in when we get these kinds of energies. But yeah, this is a victory card. I know it doesn't feel it, especially when it comes up with the tower. But this is, oh God, Libra, whoever this message is for, it's a big bang that's happened in your life. That door didn't just kind of shut. It's almost like it's slammed shut. It's totally slammed shut. And so this is about what lessons did you learn from it? What have you learned from that? How can you get a new happily ever after out of it? And is your, you know, that vision, because I always say eyes on the prize when the Ten of Cups comes up. If you want a feeling, is there another way to have that feeling? Have you been working together with others? Because something's gone adrift here. Something has gone adrift here. Like I said, there's been a misunderstanding. But I mean, that's the perfect energy to come in from this. But how? How do we get to the full energy, which is the leap of faith that takes us to a new beginning? It's through the Queen of Swords. I love her. I absolutely adore the Queen of Swords. It's always a toss up. My two favourite court cards are the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Swords. So, you know, I, I can't pick which one's my favourite out of the two, but those two are my favourite. So the Queen of Swords is all about her own truth. Now, where has, does her truth come from? That's a sort of truth there. Where does it come from? It comes from the lessons that she's learned. Through, and she's gone through every shit thing that you can imagine. The heartbreak queen, the divorce queen, the widow queen. She's gone through all of it. But she's used all of those things. And that's the queen of swords in her, in her light, in her highest vibration. Because the dark vibration, and I don't usually talk about the lower, darker vibration of the cards. Because we can use it at the highest vibration. And that's the way it comes through for me, the messages. But if I was for one minute to kind of take a glance at the lower vibration of the Queen of Swords, what does she do? She becomes bitter. She becomes harsh. She becomes, you know, judgmental based on her own experiences. But that's, you know, that's your choice. So have a look at that. I kind of get the sense. It would be very understandable if you find yourself there. And it's coming from a place of fear and anxiety, if that's you. You know, judging and being harsh and stuff. So pause for a moment pause for a moment are you in your light is this in line with what you want because the queen of swords in her light she knows who she is and she has such self-confidence she knows that she can survive anything she can survive anything i almost think the queen of swords she can become the nag or she can become the one that speaks her truth authentically not to hurt not to harm as a pure expression and she will accept your truth whatever it is without judgment 
She's like, that's cool. Because she understands that just the same way she's gone through lessons to learn what she's learned, that she can look at you and think, okay, well, you've walked through your own storms to get to your own beliefs and what your truth is. She can see that. And I kind of feel that's crucial to have a look with that Queen of Swords there. How, whatever you've been through, whatever this was, and, you know, the tower is here at the heart of the reading. The heart of the reading is the focus, what everything revolves around, what we're trying to achieve. Now, some of you feel like something needs to go, something needs to be destroyed, a misunderstanding, I would assume, to, you know, to be able to move forward, to be able to shut that chapter of your life to go forward. That's within your power to do that, especially with her coming up there. For others of you, you're dealing with this. Now, this might have been something that happened a while ago. It doesn't even have to be now, because don't forget, this is last week, last month, last year, 10 years ago. It doesn't matter. It's the foundation of why we're in the present. That's why we look to the past. That why, what is linking us to where we are? So you might have a deeper understanding of this misunderstanding now. A, a, a deeper understanding of this mis misunderstanding, if that makes sense. You know, whatever happened here, at this time, you're like, what? Why is that? Now you're like, okay, I understand that. I understand why I said it that way. I understand why they said it that way. So you're coming to a place of understanding. Place of understanding. And where does that lead once you get that understanding? Speak your truth, communicate. Doesn't, doesn't have to be. I mean, I would have been a little happier if I'd seen justice coming up somewhere. Because justice talks about then we can see both sides of the story. She's solo. Let's not, you know, and he's solo. He's going in a different direction by himself. So as much as the, the swords people, they talk about communication and this energy is like working about working together, support, looking at what we, how we want to feel. That's what the Ten of Cups is. How do I want to feel? How can I share my happiness with others? She figures out her own truth out herself. She doesn't, she doesn't try to convince anyone and she won't be convinced by anyone else. She learns from her own experience. That's, that's key, especially with the world coming up. And I want to make that distinction because a lot of times what we try to do is, if you've ever done that, written paragraphs to try to convince someone or something. I saw a meme actually on Instagram yesterday where someone was like, stop sending that person paragraphs of, you know, explanations. They don't get it. They won't understand it. And if they did, they wouldn't have done it in the first place. So it's about you having your own understanding because that's the key thing with her. Once you get that, that's when the path opens up. That's when you see a new way forward. With or without that person, with or without that job, with or without those family members, whatever this situation is. It is to do with others, though. It is to do with others. I kind of feel like that's the biggest lesson that Libra's learned with these full moons. I know it's like the first house, full moons happen, but it was eerie season, right? So that's your seventh house. And a lot of what you guys have seen about yourselves has come through someone else has come through someone else. And what this message this week is asking you to look at is how does that affect where you're going, what your happily ever after is? Is it based on trying to make other people happy or trying to do what's right for everyone else? Or is it your truth? Are you coming to it from a place of authenticity and truth? She's open to other people. These butterflies all indicate transformation. And she's got her hand out to call people forward. She's not shutting people out. It's not about that. But whatever, when they come to her, she will tell the complete truth. Not coddle, not trying to make people feel good about themselves, not trying to do what's right for everyone. It's her own truth. Now, with the fool coming up here, like I said, it's a leap of faith. There's no guarantees here. Now, this is a strange one, believe it or not, to come up with the Ten of Cups. Why? Because the Ten of Cups is eyes on the prize. What is going to make me feel good? What is the end game? What is my happily ever after? He doesn't give a shit about that. He doesn't look that far ahead. And that's the kind of distinction here. I know it's hard because we all set these goals that we want, right? But if we don't feel it in the moment right now in that group or whatever of the situation is, we won't feel it in the future. We manifest from our emotions, from our vibration. And so this is the curious optimist. That is the way forward. Let me go in a new direction. And why is the fool called the fool? Because he's innocent. It's that innocence about the fool. If you ask the fool, where are you going? He doesn't know. Wh what will you find on your route? I don't know. So why are you so happy and excited to go on this journey? Because it's a new experience. I'm open to experiencing something new. And I'm not surprised with this, with the tower coming up above here. So that's what the fool encourages you to do. 
what is the new experience? He's very, I always see the fool as the knight of wands. And the knight of wands only cares about his experience in the moment. The fool is trusting. It's a leap of faith, right? But not in the path, not in another person, not in that I'll have what I want. He trusts himself. He trusts that he'll know, you know, what to do. And he will make the most of any experience that comes up. It's faith, it's trust, it's openness, it's excitement, enthusiasm to go on this new journey. Because he's not looking for a guarantee. He's not looking for a map. Because the only maps that we have are of where we have been, not of where we are going. And it kind of feels like you see him standing on this kind of little, um, little cliff kind of outcrop kind of thing. I kind of feel like if that's where all that you have. There's a card in the wisdom of the the wisdom of the oracle, which is come to the edge. And I'm almost seeing come to the edge here, where you're on this tiny platform, Libra. And it's like I can stay here and limit myself, or I can just take a leap of faith because that's all there is. Now, before we get to this, because you're not there yet, and that's the key thing here, is figuring out what your own truth is. How does this work for you? Don't worry about that work, the situation. Don't worry about what someone has said to you. What is your own truth? What are your whys? What are your motivations for what you're doing? What you're feeling, what you're thinking? We get the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords, it's stress, anxiety, worry. Now, the Nine of Swords person, say this all the time. If this, it's not a card of regret. I always think of this stress and anxiety and worry comes in when we're too focused on the future. We're not, we're no longer in that happy vibration of why it's going to make me, I feel so good. I'm manifesting, you know, my best life and all the rest of it. This is what will happen. What will they say? What will they do? We don't know that. The fool tells us that we don't have any guarantees. And it's based off this, where we didn't have a lot of information. There may have been a misunderstanding. Let me get you one for that nine of swords. So with the nine of swords coming up with this, if this is a romantic relationship reading for you, it's almost like I don't know what that person feels because the King of Cups doesn't always say how he feels. He knows how he feels, but he doesn't always say it. Loving, nurturing, caring. Now, for you, so there's a number of ways that this comes. This is the advice. The advice would then be, this is all in our head, right? And I don't mean that in a bad way because the Nine of Swords does say it's not as bad as you think. The act of going over it and over it and over it again makes it bigger, Right? So instead of the headspace, because you're getting clear on that here, how do you feel about this? Are you speaking from a place of how you feel? This mastery of your emotions. And if we look at the King of Cups, Three of Cups, Ten of Cups, what would make you happy? Rather than what could go wrong, will I get this? What did that person mean? Are they going to sack me? Is this person gone from my life? Will I ever meet anyone? That kind of stuff. It's like, get back to your heart space. What do you love? What do you love? What is it? And initially, when you had that dream or that goal or that you wanted this, what made you feel good? And the three of cups can be spending your time around people that support and love you because that raises your vibration as well. But yeah, this head stuff, it's not working for you. Find your own truth in it, but that comes through your emotions, my lovelies. And, you know, even if we feel like shit and hurt and broken right now, Okay, so how would you like to feel? The Ten of Cups used in the positive ways, that's what it means. How would you like to feel? Okay, so you have got true love. This love is a once in a lifetime love. Do you believe that? Do you feel that? Every love is a once in a lifetime love. That's why we fall in love, because it's so amazing and beautiful. And it doesn't just have to be romantically, right? It can be... For any situation, for any situation. But when we love, that's all there is. There is that love. No wonder you're getting the King of Cups here. It's asking you to look at what do you love? What's in your cup? Because you that won't lie to you. Because this all these head games and stuff, it's gonna screw you up. It always does, especially when it's based on this little shit. Um, I'm sorry to say that. I love the Page of Swords too, because it's the spy that goes out there and gets the information. But the page or the princess of swords does not have the no enough knowledge to know what to do with that. So they can speak harshly or explain things in a way that there is no explanation. Misunderstandings are rife here. So it's kind of saying, well, okay, what's your truth and what's your emotional truth? If this is true love, true love, what is true love? Then it's the emotion that we feel, right? 
there's the head, there's the heart. It's, the, it's almost like the lovers. That's what I'm kind of getting here. There's justice. Now we're talking. I was kind of getting that kind of... You know, sometimes when the cards don't show up, they still make a presence by the fact that they're absent. But this, if you can have a look at it, it's like that. This is to be fair. Look at both sides. There's something that you're, you're innately good at, Libra. That's what you guys are. The scales. Balance. What's going on on both sides? How does that affect you? Now, this doesn't mean making excuses for other people or letting people get away with shit, especially if other pe someone else has done this to you. But I'm not really seeing lies. I'm seeing misunderstandings. And so to be fair is saying, find the common ground, find the middle ground and within yourself first. Queen of Swords, right? It's not like maybe they did this, maybe did they did that. It's more like, okay, I can make my peace with this. I can understand why somebody might be having a difficult time or, you know, at work, they're letting people off. I can understand why they haven't said like that. Understand it within yourself because you are very reasonable like that. Find that balance within yourself first. This can be, this is where we can make amends, where there can be apologies. This is about forgiveness. Nine times out of 10, when we have to forgive, it's about forgiving ourselves, not forgiving other people. Because this can also be, why did I do that? Why did I do this? Dear you, what is true for you? Can you be impeccable with your word? Sure you can. As long as it's not used to manipulate others, the truth can set everyone free. Let go of the results, let go of your fears and allow the truth to empower you and others. This will set into motion a kind of change that will be supportive of you and loving and all kinds of prosperous. This is not a time to compromise and hide your truth from others. Whatever it is you want, go for it and be clear in your motives, especially with yourself. That's this. You'll be so happy you did. This is a time where you will tap into the power to co-create and manifest your best life. Doesn't that feel amazing? And the results, miraculous. When you tell the truth and ask the same of others, you can learn a lot from lifespan for lessons and achieve your dreams. Love you always. Now think about that. Especially when I was saying, like, look at your motives. What is your own truth? That's the key thing for this week. What is your own truth? What balances your scales? What do you love? How do you feel? And, you know, for some of you, and not for um, very many, but I'm getting this as well, especially with that card coming up. It's about speaking from your heart, speaking your truth in a loving way. The King of Cups is loving when he does speak his truth, but still waters run deep. Do you feel like, hey, it's so obvious, it's so clear. Why do they not understand what I was trying to say? And it's general, it can go both ways. So maybe someone else is feeling that around you. But, you know, it hasn't been clear, not with this. So it has to be clearly stated now. The truth, right? The truth. And there's no objective truth. There's only subjective truth. We all each have our own individual truth. So first, we are honest with ourselves and then we share that with others. And it's a leap of faith because we don't know where it will go. It might piss someone off or it may set you going on the biggest adventure of your lives. 